You're watching Quantum Phaser. All right, let's get this video going. So this isn't going to be an unboxing video. This is going to be about my old HRX mower and why I bought a new HRX mower. And I pretty much had no choice than to buy another one of these because I love the other one so much. So basically, here's a picture of the other one. And that's the mower that I had for 10 years. Until last year, it was stolen. And it was stolen at the end of the summer. I still needed a lawn mower, so I kind of left the grass where it was. And it was stolen from me, kind of parked next to the house, not too far from it, parked in the shrubs. And I only made the mistake of leaving it there one night because it ran out of gas. I was kind of tired. I figured I'd get to it. But I was too late because I went out there and poof, no lawnmower. And that kind of hit me hard because I never had something like that stolen from me. And I really loved that lawnmower because it was there for me for 10 years and it always did the job started on the first pull or by the turn of the key and I just had no problems with it and I basically I thought about getting a different kind of electric lawnmower but I just wanted basically the same thing I had but better so I decided to pony up a grand it was just about a thousand from Home Depot and I ordered this thing which actually arrived in February and I was waiting to do an unboxing I was gonna do an unboxing for you guys on it before but I didn't have the grass uh, this year for some reason we didn't get many uh, rain events so the grass has been really kinda crappy so I was kinda waiting to unveil it but at the same time since I already had one of these and you might have seen it in the previous videos you know, the question would be, well, well, why did he replace the one that was lost? And I didn't want any negativity or bad feelings, uh, anything like that on the unveiling because I just want that to be a happy video. But at the same time, you know, I just wanted to share that, yeah, the other one was a great lawnmower and it was my fault kind of leaving it out there. But at the same time, when I talked to my neighbors, apparently there was kind of a tool crime wave that hit the street and some guy had his tools uh, stolen from him a couple houses down they broke into his tool shed so the new lawnmower is going to be equipped with a tile uh, just like I have on the tractor here so I'm not going to have that event happen again so there's a tile hidden discreetly somewhere on this tractor so basically I can track it anywhere and you can look that up on Google uh, there's some great stories about people recovering stuff, so I'd recommend, uh, you know, if you have a nice piece of equipment that you tile it uh, in order to not have that happen. Uh, as far as the old mower, it served me well for 10 years, and it was always there when uh, the tractors broke down on me and I needed something to mow the lawn with, so sometimes it had to mow three acres at a time. Well, I couldn't keep up with that, but I'd mow it over a couple days. So, you know, I, I, basically it's a good mower, and it's as good as you can get. The deck on it, the neck sight, uh, never had a crack on it. In fact, there used to be a commercial where uh, the neck sight deck can hold up uh, four F-150, or, or four neck sight decks, rather, can hold up an F-150 pickup truck. Uh, just on the decks. It's basically a, it's built out of the same material as the football helmets and No rust or anything ball bearing wheels uh, The thing sipped gas hardly used any gas. I mean it was it was ridiculous how far you could go on it We can do all those tests and trials on this one coming up. So I've got a lot of cool stuff for this uh, one of the things that was a problem on the old one, which is still a issue on this uh, handle on it basically it's metal to metal contact so that rusts over time we're gonna 
wrap that with some bike tape on, on this one and I've got an hour meter to install so there's gonna be a lot of videos uh, up and coming on this lawnmower so that is going to be the replacement for the one that was stolen and we're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff uh, coming up on it so I just wanted to get this video out other than that the tractor is working well uh, no issues there it's been doing the job uh, the Johnny buckets working fine joysticks working fine all that the Husqvarna is still just sitting out here just the way I left it uh, it's got the broken frame on it so I can't use it for mowing uh, this was supposed to alleviate problems last year and I wound up having to use the Honda to do the job of this thing but uh, once I'm done with the other stuff I got going on this will be coming back to life because I'm gonna see if I can buy the frame parts for it that bolt together in different uh, areas but right now it's just sitting on the transmission this thing's pretty much screwed so we'll see what we can do for it if anything otherwise we'll look to another avenue for a mower tractor <laughs> Well, that's about where we are at the moment. So thanks for letting me get the story out on what's been bugging me about this lawnmower being stolen from me and just letting you know that uh, there's a replacement and I'll be getting this thing unboxed very soon very shortly and I'm gonna go dig up a cutting implement and we'll cut the box open and this mower is gonna see sunlight for the first time since February since I've been hiding it away uh, inside the house but as soon as I get this thing set up, put a tile on it, and don't worry about it again. So let's get this box cut open and have a quick peek. Yeah, funny story. One big difference between this mower and the other one is they were both key start, but this one recharges its own battery. But the old one you had to plug in and charge. This is literally the only piece I have left from that mower, which is sad. And it's kind of ironic because I couldn't find this son of a bitch for a year and three months after the mower was stolen I found the damn thing it was mixed in with a bunch of other adapters so you know that's the charger right there for the old one I did actually have one here's the proof I thought there was a dent in the matrix or something anyway oh yeah I was gonna get something to cut the box open with hold on a sec all right couldn't find a knife found a screwdriver Let's go. Do not use as a pry bar or chisel. Do not use as a hammer. Does it say don't use it as a cutting implement? There we go. First time we see light. Look at that sunlight. Dappling off the box. That's right. The rippling sunlight. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. And that's right. This is made in America, boys. I think it's uh, Alabama. Somebody help me out. But yeah, this thing's actually all American made. In case you didn't know, ooh, ooh, aren't you glad you stayed till the end? So basically, this is the same as the outgoing model I had. Uh, it's got the GCV 200 instead of the 190. And mine did not have the auto choke, although there was a model when I bought mine that had the option, I think. But anyway, that's about the only differences on it so other than that I'm looking at it and yeah it's identical uh, the key start box has been redesigned thank god the old one was a piece of crap the other one had the old one had a door that would just like fall off and you have to like rip the door off to charge so that's improved so 
this looks like it's going to be a cool deal. So tune in next time when we really unbox this sucker. See you on the next one, and thanks for letting me share my story and get that out. And next video will be awesome. Later. <laughs>